Hi, I'm Rosalie. I'm not part of any formal church or anything like that, but I do believe that there is a higher power, a God or creator, and so did my late husband. He wrote some fabulous works on the subject, and he wrote three powerful prayers which I will share with you as my gift for you and they are universal prayers so it doesn't matter what religion you are or no religion it will work first I'm going to read to you what he wrote about it okay Prayer is the answer. Prayer is the way. I give it my all. I pray, pray, pray. Every atom, tissue, muscle, and bone in my being, I offer it to you, Lord. Then I begin seeing the glory, the bliss, heaven within. Lord, in consciousness of one, I faithfully begin to fulfill my dreams, my wishes, my desire. All that is right in time I acquire. It is through devoted prayer and in complete abandonment to the energy supreme that heaven opened up to me and I was given new life. When I speak of prayer, I'm not referring to a memorized set of words that someone else or religious order decided to call prayer, but rather a complete giving of yourself to God, the creator of heaven above and earth below. An optional method of having prayer work for you to the fullness it can be is to set a scheduled time. Ideally, the best to pray is every night as you are lying in bed ready to fall asleep. As well, if you should get up in the middle of the night, for any reason, when you return to bed, begin praying once again and pray until you drift off into sleep. Your prayer should be very personal and simple of words expressed with a fullness of heart and complete focus of personal energy whenever you begin to digress to thoughts of the day or otherwise gently bring yourself back to your prayer it will become a meditative type of state in being very relaxing very spiritually connecting and it will actually help you fall to sleep with greater ease and you will wake up more refreshed and ready to face the new day. I speak this in truth for I personally know the power of prayer. The words may be of your choosing, but remember simple and personal and of complete devotion. You may pray to God directly or to Jesus or to any other of holiness, but do it in total faith and absolute love. Do not question if what you are asking will come to be, nor ever question the power and love of God himself or to whom you are praying. Faith is of vital importance in completely connecting your consciousness self to the eternal energy of he or she who you are praying to. Prayer shouldn't be a chore, a boring chore that you have to do before bed at night. It shouldn't, nor does it have to be. Now on to the three prayers. He wrote a morning version and an evening version. And then there's one more I'll get to at the end. So first is the morning prayer. The morning and evening prayer are a little bit different. Lord, you are my transformation, my truth, my love, my inspiration. Lord, you are my being supreme, energy, peace, love, absolutely serene. Lord, you are my eternal presence, my spirit, my power. You are my essence, my love. You are my honor. My faith is absolute, my energy perpetual. Lord, you are my breath, my word, my action, my essential. You are my mind, my heaven, my glow. Lord, I love you forever, I know. For you are my king, one eternally so. That's beautiful. (sighs) 
here is the evening prayer. Lord, you are my transformation, my truth, my life, my motivation. Lord, you are my being supreme. Energy, love, peace, absolutely serene. Lord, you are my eternal presence, spirit and power. I am your essence, your love, my honor. My faith is absolute, my vitality perpetual. Lord, you are my breath, my word, my action, my essential. You are my mind, my heaven, my glow. Lord, I love you so forever I know. See. This next one that I'm going to share with you is called Wordless. Lord, many words I have spoken, they are all sincere, and to my utmost I have made their meaning very clear, and yet my voice within, that which I speak, is truly wordless. My feeling, my energy, my love, this I convey, and now we truly connect forever this day. The words that I write and that which I say they are for me and for others. This is our way. Lord, my mind, my love, we do connect, for it is my thought, my feeling that is sent. I now have said all I have to say. Let me put the words aside. I meditate. I pray. With my mind, with my heart, with my feelings so deep, Lord, this is what you hear. It is pure energy. So when the words end and true beginning begins, this is the connection Love forever, perfection, unification. There's so much feeling in these prayers. He wrote these before we ever met. And if I close my eyes, I can just feel, you know, that the feeling in these prayers but um you can use them feel free to use them and if there's anything that you would like to change uh it's your prayer you know when you pray it's very personal so um so even if you are like me and you don't go to church, there is still tremendous benefit to prayer. It's personal. So if there's a word in these prayers that you don't like, maybe Lord, you can change the word Lord to whatever you want. It's your personal prayer. And it doesn't matter what religion you are. It's universal. Even no religion. It's universal. <laughs> And I thank you for watching and listening and being here with me. It means a lot to me.